motion. So for graphical analysis of motion, we have two graphs to consider. We have position versus time graph, and then we have velocity versus time graph. Meron din naman yung acceleration versus time graph, pero ito lang ang focus natin. So let's start first with position versus time graph. Ano ba yung position versus time graph? Okay, this is a graph of position and time. So sa position versus time graph, ang nasa y-axis natin is the position in meters. You know that that is displacement. Tama? Ang nasa x-axis natin is the time in seconds. Okay? So ano yung makukuha? Ano bang ibig sabihin ng position versus time graph natin? For example, at time 2 seconds, saan yung position ng ating object? 10 meters. At time 9 seconds, ano yung position ng ating object? 0 meters. At time... Um, four seconds, zero meters. So that's the meaning of position versus time graph. Now, what can we get or what can we solve in a position versus time graph? We can solve its average velocity, okay? Because meters divided by seconds is meter per second, tama? and that is velocity. Do you follow? Ayon. So to solve for the average velocity, you just get the slope. Ano ba yung formula ng slope sa mathematics? Diba? Rise over run. So it is change of y, rise, divided by run, change of x. Okay, let's have an example. Uh, bakit ganyan, sir? Remember, ang y is meters. Ang x is seconds. So meter per second, and that is velocity. Let's have an example. Let us going to calculate the average speed from point A, from point A to point B. So we, let's solve for the average velocity rather, average velocity sa first two seconds of travel from point A to point B, kana kay first two seconds. And that is just the slope, so change of Y over change of X. Ano yung Y, uh, so Y of B, Y of B minus Y of A divided by divided by x x at b minus x at a yan man yung formula ng slope di ba so what is our y at b ano ba yung y natin sa b 10 ayun 10 unit is meters do not forget the unit what is our y at a y at a is 10 meters 10 meters divided by our x at b is 2 seconds, 2 seconds, minus our x at A is 0 seconds, okay? And that will give us 0 meters per second. Ayan. So, ganun lang kadali. Now, the, the question is, what is the meaning of that motion? Anong ibig sabihin ng 0 meters per second? It is at rest. Ayun, di ba? So, at rest. It is not moving. Constant yung position. Okay, so uh, let's have another example. What if we are going to calculate the average velocity from point, uh, average velocity from two seconds to, two seconds to, pilaman, asamanta, ani? Nine seconds to nine seconds. Okay, so same pa din. Uh, change of y. So from point B to point G. So change of Y over change of X. So Y at G minus Y at B divided by X at G minus X at B. Okay. What is our Y at G? Zero. Zero meters. What is our Y at B? Ten meters okay divided by what is our x at g x at g is nine nine seconds what is our x at b two seconds okay so this is negative 10 meters divided by uh, nine minus two is so significant ang zero dali okay exact man 10 naman siya so significant na this is bilamani <laughs> 9 minus 2, tapos si calculator. 7. 
<laughs> seven seconds. And that will give us what? Pen divided by seven. Divided by seven is 1.42, negative 1.428, and so on, meters per second. How many significant figures? Isa lang. So our final answer must be Satong final answer. Negative one meter per second. So ito yung final answer natin. Okay? Questions. Diba dali ra kayo, no? Now the question is, what is the meaning of negative one meter per second? You know already the meaning of that, right? It is either going down or going to the left. Sir, paano ko malaman na going to the left yan? If this is going up, then of course, that is that means going down. If this is going to the right, then that means going to the left. Opposite direction. It's going in the opposite direction.